You can buy the B580 and it's gonna be a good value and it's probably gonna be a car that serves you well more than likely. However, as a content creator, I get a lot of questions. And the main question I get all the time is, should I buy this GPU or should I buy that GPU? Should I buy this motherboard? Should I buy that motherboard? And should I buy now or should I wait? And that's more in line with what I will be talking about today. At the time of this video going live, it is officially the launch day for the Intel Arc B580 Battle Mage GPU. Yesterday, all the major reviewers were able to put out their day one reviews on that car. Card. And for the most part, the card got really good reviews. If you look at hardware unboxes, cost per frame analysis, you can see that the Intel Arc B580 is essentially the best value GPU on the market currently. And so a lot of people will be tempted to run out there and buy it, and for good reason. However, in less than 30 days, we will have CES 2025, and Nvidia and AMD will be making new GPU announcements. And in addition to that, Intel is even planning to launch even more GPUs. My recommendation is you probably should wait right now however if you do go get the Intel Arc B580 I can't necessarily say I fault you now we're gonna dive a little bit deeper and talk about what to expect in the coming months but first a quick word from today's video sponsor sponsored by Exter introducing Exter's brand new card holder pro made 100% from recycled aluminum with built-in RFID protection and a lifetime warranty this is truly the future of wallets it can hold up to 14 cards in total with up to seven of those cards in the card holder. The metal ejector trigger allows for fast and easy access to all of your cards. Exter also has an add-on ecosystem. Introducing Exter's all-new Finder card, which works directly with Apple's built-in Find My app on your iPhone. And now you will never have to worry about losing your wallet ever again, because if you do, you simply open up the Find My application on your iPhone and you can track your wallet down. And finally, Exter also offers you a key case, which will go perfectly with your card holder probe. It offers one-handed access to all of your keys. It can hold up to eight keys at a time. Exter is currently running their Christmas sale. They are having 50% off, but with my code Iraq on tech, you can get up to 55% off. The link will be down below in the video description. Thank you Exter for sponsoring today's video. Welcome back and thank you for being patient with me as I ran a sponsored segment. And if you couldn't tell already, this video is a little bit different. I'm sitting down, I'm in front of the camera. It's a different angle and I don't even have a script for today's video. I'm really just giving you my somewhat unfiltered thoughts on the current situation with the GPU market. Now, if you like this style of video, do me a favor, let me know in the comment section below. And if you don't like it, also let me know in the comment section below so I know to make changes or revert back. Okay, look, here's the thing. Intel Arc B580, why does it matter? Why is it a big deal? Well, what you have to understand is that for the last few years, a lot of gamers have felt abandoned in terms of the sub $300 price point in terms of GPUs. Sure, you could get some GPUs close to that price point or maybe even technically a little bit below, but they always had something going on with it. Like for example, they weren't that great of performers in terms of overall rasterization, or they had eight gigabytes of VRAM. And as game graphics get more and more demanding and as more gamers are trying to push into the realm of ray tracing and things of that nature, VRAM is becoming more and more of a topic each and every day. And so eight gigabytes just feels a little bit outdated at this point. And so the short version is with the Intel Arc B580, you're actually getting a GPU for $250 with 12 gigabytes of VRAM. That is actually a really good 1080p GPU and even a decent 1440p GPU. And so for the first time in many years, you can go and buy a sub $300 GPU take it home and not necessarily feel like you completely got ripped off, right? So that is why it is such a big deal. I fully expect a lot of gamers to rush out there and buy this GPU. And like I said in the intro, I can't fault you for that. However, knowledge is power and a lot of people just are not aware of what's about to happen. And here's what's about to happen. Next month in January, there will be CES 2025. Nvidia is fully expected to announce their RTX 50 series GPUs. And based on all leaks and rumors, they're probably gonna stagger the launch and do like 5090, 5080, and then the 5070, so on and so forth. But more than likely, they will make the announcement for all the GPUs. And so we may have some 5060 or 5060 Ti information presented at that conference. We don't know for sure, but it could be there. But what is for sure is that new GPUs are coming. However, here's the thing though, I'm not hating on the B580 here, but 
if you're going to be a subscriber or a viewer and leave a comment and ask the question, hey, should I buy this or that? then it's my duty to tell you what I think. And what I think is this, I think we don't have enough information. I think that no matter how well positioned the B580 is, and even if the B580 magically sells out on day one, it's gonna come back. It's going to be there because there's still so many people out there who do not trust how new of a of a platform uh, the Intel Arc series is. And keep in mind, generation one was not that great. They had a ton of driver issues. They had a lot of growing pains and all of that is to be understandable. And Intel did a phenomenal job turning that ship around and making things better. And I'm not knocking it, but if I'm putting things into a realistic perspective here, yes, the B580 looks great. However, you're taking the B580 and you're comparing it to Nvidia's and AMD's GPUs that have already been on the market for like 18 months or so, give or take. So yeah, it's Intel's latest and greatest, but it's not AMD's latest and greatest and it's not Nvidia's latest and greatest. And ideally next month at CES 2025, Nvidia and AMD will be announcing their new GPUs and Nvidia will be announcing at some point, even if it's not CES 2025, they will announce a 5060 and a 5060 Ti. And ideally, those cards will outperform the 4060 and 4060 Ti. And so then it's gonna come down to the pricing, right? Now, here's my hope. My hope is that because the B580 is so well positioned, that will force Nvidia's hand to lower the price of the upcoming 5060 and 5060 Ti. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if Nvidia tried to raise the price and not launch the 5060 and 5060 Ti at the same price as the 4060 and 4060 Ti. Even if they did launch it at that price, 4060 coming in at 299 US MSRP and 4060 Ti coming in at 399 US MSRP. That is still a price point I don't think a lot of gamers get excited about simply because yeah, it says 299, but we all know that really means $300. And then here in the US, you have to pay taxes on top of that. That does not include taxes like other countries that, you know, have the tax included in the price that you see. And so you see 299, but you know it's going to be a lot more than that, right? So that 250 price coming from the B580 looks really good. Good. And so again, I'm really hoping that will force Nvidia's hand to lower their price. But here's the big deal. The big deal is AMD's new strategy. Our DNA 4 is not coming in trying to take Nvidia out at the enthusiast level anymore. AMD is not going after the 5090 and probably not even the 5080. AMD is going to focus on that mid-range market. And so ideally that also means GPUs even a little bit below that, like the 4060, 5060 market and the Intel Arc B580. And so AMD is no stranger to offering good value proposition on their products, right? So we don't know what they're going to offer. And so my thing is this, I get comments all the time. Should I buy this GPU or should I buy that one? This is a situation where I can honestly tell you the B580 is not a bad buy. And I definitely think you're going to get a good value if you go and buy it and you're going to be supporting the thing you want to see in the market. You want to see competition. You want to see a third party available and you want to see sub $300 GPUs. All of that is a beautiful thing. However, on the opposite side of that coin, buyer's remorse is very much a real thing. And I can't tell you how many times over the last couple of years I've seen somebody go buy a GPU and then immediately come to my comment section. Oh man, I can't believe I just bought this GPU and now they're already releasing a better GPU that offers more performance or or maybe it's not more performance but it's a it's a price point that would have been way better for my budget and now I'm outside my return policy I'm having trouble selling it all the things I've seen that so many times in my comment section and this is one of those situations where it is easy to fall victim to the YouTube algorithm and get hyped up about, oh man, this there, there, there's a new product, it's a good price, I gotta go buy it, I gotta go buy it. But I'm just here to let you know, hey, you can buy the B580 and it's gonna be a good value and it's probably gonna be a card that serves you well more than likely. However, just so you know, in case you did not know, in less than 30 days, there will be an event called CES and there will be new GPUs announced. And then in the weeks after that, those GPUs will start rolling out. And so just be aware if you're rushing out to buy a new GPU today that 
new GPUs are coming. And by the way, this logic equally applies to things outside the B580. I'm not just taking shots at the B580 and I'm, I'm not criticizing it. It's a good card. I'm probably going to go buy it myself to review it on the channel. And I want to support the things I want to see in the market. I want to see good value proposition GPUs. I want to see GPUs below $300 that are actually viable. So more than likely, I'm going to go buy the GPU myself and do a video on it here on the channel. I'm not knocking it. With all that being said, this logic equally applies to other GPUs outside the B580. Okay. So if you're getting ready to go and pick up a 4060, if you're getting ready to go pick up a 4090, if you're getting ready to go pick up a 7800 XT, for example, that that's cool. You can do that. And I, I even recommend the 7800 XT. I have a full video on it and I gave it a glowing review, but again, new GPUs are coming. So just be mindful of that is all I'm trying to say. I want to give a quick shout out to all of my Patreon members. You guys are rock solid. You've been with me for a very long time. You've been very loyal. Everybody here has been rock rock solid and very consistent. And I just want to say thank you so much for that. By the way, I'm working on a super big project. I'm hoping to launch it early 2025 and it's only going to be available to Patreon members. So if you've been on the fence, now might be a good time to sign up. Link will be down below. You can get Discord access for only $1. I normally don't do videos like this. I really don't. I'm normally more technical, more detailed and all of that stuff. But this is just a quick off the cuff video. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. What are you excited for? What are you looking to buy? What do you think about the B580? Are you looking forward to the 50 series? Are you looking forward to RDNA 4? If you're new here, get subscribed. If you like the video, hit the like button. And until next time, you rock out.